Greetings, Phil McCordy here with a really cool science experiment to make awesome tie-dye looking patterns in a plate. Uh, and it's pretty easy to do. So here's what you need. You need a plate. Um, I like to use a paper plate, but you can use a plastic plate. Just make sure it's like very flat on the bottom. And you'll need some milk and you'll need some dish soap, some Q-tips cup and some food coloring. So here's what you do. First of all, take some dish soap and put it in the cup so that you can get the Q-tip nice and covered in it without having to pour the soap on the Q-tip. And then you're gonna take some milk and you're gonna just cover the bottom of the plate. Now, if you've seen this experiment before and you've wondered why we use milk, it just makes it look cooler to have sort of a white canvas uh, on which you can see all of the colors. You could do this with water, but it's just, it's not as cool looking. Then you're gonna take some food coloring and you're just gonna add some drops of food coloring in the middle. Very fun, okay. Now what you do is you take a Q-tip and you put it in the soap. And regular old dish soap is the best, but all soap will do this. There you go, covered up in soap. And then you put the Q-tip in the food coloring and <laughs> it makes this really cool firework pattern and then as it all spreads apart you can put it in other spots the colors run away from the q-tip and you can make really cool patterns there you go pretty cool experiment pretty easy to do and now you might have seen this on youtube before but i bet you no one's explained exactly why this happens from a scientific point of view which is a shame because it's pretty simple you ready water is magnets. Yes, I'm referring to this video in which I said water is magnets about 800 times. If you haven't seen this video, you should totally check it out. It'll be linked below. But basically, it's a way of thinking about water that explains why it behaves the way it does in a whole bunch of science experiments. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Phil, wait a minute, wait a minute. You didn't use water in this experiment. You used milk. Here's the thing. Milk is still mostly water. In fact, there's enough water in milk that we can pretty much ignore milk. It's just milk is better because it creates a white canvas on which to see all of the colors, but it all pretty much works the same way. Now, here's what happens. The water molecules are attracting each other like magnets, pulling tightly. When soap is added, the soap molecules stick themselves in between the water molecules. When soap is added to water, it lowers the surface tension. If you think of these water molecules like elastics, when you lower the tension in the middle, the elastics pull from the outside. If you look at it from above, the elastics are contracting in all directions, and that's what makes the circle grow. The food dye is taken along for the ride, which creates those patterns. So there you go. That is why it works. Water is magnets. Really cool experiment. Thanks for watching. This video is dedicated to Ben and his family and Jax and his family. Thank you all very much for supporting me on Patreon. It lets me do all the stuff I like to do, which is teach kids cool stuff about science. Science is cool. Kids should know about it. If you would like to support me on Patreon, the link will be in the comments section below. And in the meantime, like and subscribe and share and email people about this YouTube channel and, and send them a fax or, or write them a snail mail letter and put the link in there and then they'll try to click it, but they can't because it's on paper. Anyway, I'll see you next time.